Auma Odiambo. I'm a stylist, a fashion stylist, and stylist, styling is very broad. So when we talk of if me telling you what I do, I it's a lot of things, and I don't think I can even like finish within a span of time. But basically, a stylist um, is like kind of an image consultant, but dealing 90% on the wardrobe apparel yeah so we put looks together um according to occasions and and what you want to do probably occasions work every other thing any you know like you always need to be dressed for anything whether it's casual it's dressing up for events so every that particular moment every other moment when you're putting on clothes there's there's need to be thought in it and that's where we come in I draw my inspiration from everything around me, like just the everyday life, from when I wake up, the things I see. I see, I, us I usually feel that I have a very weird imagination because I see weird things in normal things. I'm like, okay, it's a necklace, but I can make it a headband. You know, we can do something with it. And then I make it a headband and then someone is like, why did you buy that? Oh, it's for hair? I'm like, no, it's actually a necklace. Like for me, um, functionality is the best thing. I, I like having something and something I can use differently for different other things. So even when it comes to my styling wardrobe, I can do the same outfit and I can give you three different looks from the same one piece. Yeah. So it has to be functionable. It's one and then I can wear it three ways because I had clutter that's one and that really minimizes that like kills it so i know if um in my wardrobe i have only five items i know i'm gonna i have like 20 already in my head which nobody will tell nobody would know so it's just a normal um day to day of course my dislike for clutter inspires me but then boldness like i just like confidence which you don't have to speak out just look at me and immediately you feel intimidated in a good way not in a bad way yeah that's what i like look at a woman and feel like okay can i talk to her is it safe is it okay for me to actually go and talk to her so just bringing your personality or boldness out before without saying a word I'm a self-taught stylist um, from my passion for fashion of course it's not like I went to school to do fashion and design or styling no from the love I had actually I used to think I was gonna be a fashion designer because I, I knew I grew up loving fashion but I was like no because in my head then I never knew those uh, when you're in the fashion industry you're either model or you're a designer I didn't know the other parts which you can become part of the fashion in in industry yeah so i knew as a fashion designer straight up i'm not doing anything else i'm a fashion designer I went through high school even had like a, a sketching book i used to sketch and draw my designs i lost it <laughs> but after high school when i was done i told my mom i needed to like learn so you know that period when you're waiting to join campus um i had to learn something and she was like fashion and design why what do you mean who does that like okay so let me just go and learn normal tailoring then from a car shop you know in the in the in the estate she's like no that's waste of time and money you should go and do computer packages you know the normal things we do so at that point i i dropped it i was like okay this won't happen anytime soon i tried modeling i did and actually got accepted to city ajuma uh, city models by ajuma yeah which is now ajuma limited and I, I modeled for, I only did one photo shoot that time, immediately after high school. I did the plus size section and then like, I'm not cut out for this. I'm not feeling it. I'm not seriously feeling it. So I was like, okay, you know what, Ruth, just go to school and do what normal people do. You go to school and get a job. It's normal. I went to University of Nairobi and I did fisheries and aquaculture management. So when I was in my 
taking the year I had a lot of free time in, in school which and I hate being idle I hate being lazy I feel like just drains so much energy so I, I was finding things to do and I met um, a photographer who is a very good friend that's a Halifa <laughs> I started working with him as his um, assistant so I went to shoots of course a lot since he was also he's a photographer and he's doing a lot of editorials and a lot of other shoots and I got to learning so apart from learning weirdly I went to be his assistant but I never learned anything as a photographer but I used to pick up things about fashion and styling every other time I go on, on set so I got to a point even him he knew and he realized and he was like why don't you do a blog? So we were like, okay, we'll do a blog. He's like, I'm a photographer, we'll take pictures. Even we did even fast, um, uh, we did like uh, a website template which we were working on and then he took the first pictures for the blog. But I could never get to write actually anything about those pictures. I had a lot to say about them, but every other time I went to typing, I could not do anything. It was so weird, so I dropped it. And I think at some point he thought I was not serious because he also dropped that whole issue. <laughs> and then we started talking about styling because I, I got the interest from all the shoot I went to. And I was like, whoa, this is very interesting. This is something I can do. And sometimes when I'm on set, I used to actually help the stylist out. I forget I'm carrying lights. I'll drop it and go start pairing shoes. And I'm like, she'll pair something. And then I'll just come like, um, did you think this could go with this? Just try it with this. If you don't like it, it's okay. Then they try, they're like, oh yeah, true actually. So that's when it got to me and I started doing thorough research on it. So it's pure self-taught and that was like the hardest time when now I got into it seriously because I didn't know a lot of people in that industry, right? And then there's no school for it here. There's no school of style. And thirdly, Weirdly, nobody seems like they want to help. You're asking someone a question, they're always busy, or someone is like, I don't know, figure it out. Google, I go to Google, and they'll give me things, but not things I can relate to, especially from Kenya. This is an official outfit, first of all. It's an outfit for a very, 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 very bold woman. Because the color is just all over. The color is, it's a luminous green, and then the fabric, it's just screams i'm here i'm the boss boss lady vibe so this is a very bold look and it's something i feel like a lot of women should get into not just the plain old colors of being of course always being safe with gray and black and and the saddle colors but go all out if you decide it's boldness go all out from colors to everything and they do work just pair them nicely know the type of color you do the type of jewelry like this would never work with gold anything gold with this is a no-no because already it's very it speaks for itself and then gold it will be like they're fighting the contrast will be not a good thing so keep it subtle with the jewelry if you have very screaming colors on and very bold um, outfits on keep it subtle on that if you have plain outfits go bold on the accessories that always works but for me I think the simple the easier the better so if you have a luminous green outfit it's a pant suit very nice gorgeous elegant pair it with a plain pair of shoes which is white or black would go with it but i feel like this goes way better it's something not everyone would pull off yeah and then go to the business meeting and get your contract and win every other day <laughs> from start my work entails learning someone else's personality i have to learn if i have a client i have to learn them before i work on anything I have to know you your personality what you're comfortable in what you're not comfortable in i have to learn sizes and figures and shapes i have to first know you before i even come and dress you up because there's no way i'll just come with my own ideas and instill them on you i have to understand you first and then we bring the two together and come up with come up with magic basically at the end of the day you go home happy i go home happy thirdly i need to know what we are dressing up for what's the occasion so that we don't go off the track 
I have to be always keen every other time because it needs keenness before you do anything. Actually putting on clothes and putting on jewelry, that's the least work I can say I, I do as a stylist. The main work is way before you put on a full outfit with makeup and everything. That's like the easiest part of the job. But the research, the working together and then sourcing for these looks, the shopping for them before now I get to dress you up with everything. Every other client has like their own manual. So if you call me up and you tell me um, it's an ad, I'm gonna style, immediately what I think in my head is first, product colors. Immediately I'll forget out because ads I need to put, if it's, um, let's say it's a brand like Nivea, I'll need to put a lot of blues in mind because every other time the ads are usually very structured. They'll throw in their brand colors at you, but in a subtle way. So you need to know how to make it show, but not make don't make it like the main attention. Make make the whole ad, the whole probably production of the ad is what creates the attention, but still make it that people will somehow see the blue. So theme colors, and then I need to know the angles of the cameras. So they usually send a brief course every other work every other client some clients I do the briefs so that's the difference which I'll get into so they send in the brief they have the theme for what they have and I redo a mood board for them on the looks that you can do because they'll give me the age the pictures of the cast um, what they're playing so that I know this one is playing a 19 year old how does a 19 year old dress this one is playing a 50 year old of course she's a grandma how is she gonna dress and then they'll even specify she's a stylish grandma you know she's a modern woman she's a housewife they do specify so from that I, I draw I come up with a mood board according to what they the theme they gave me and everything and to the brand colors so I source in accordance to the brand colors and it's usually as usually the like for me the most work because sometimes you get a set of even 17 and they you can never come on set with one outfit at least for me I know I can't so if I'm, I'm having you're wearing only one outfit I'll have like five outfits for you so you can imagine if I'm doing, my, my biggest cast was 17 people, it was an ad for Garden City, I did 17 people in a day. So you can imagine how many suitcases I was walking around with because I'm only having five outfits for one, one person and I have 17 people to style. If I'm doing a tutorial, of course, I do the theme like I, I do editorial for Couture Africa magazine I'm the one who does the theme and and that makes it easier because since I'm doing it I know what I did before and I know what to change up in all this and then what the issue the issue is about so if it's a fashion issue already I know it needs to be all it's an editorial it's a high fashion magazine it needs to be all high fashion what the trends what's going on in the runway all the runway makeup looks that's what i'm thinking if it's a body issue i'm thinking calves i'm thinking you know all these things to bring if it's a beauty issue you'll see me doing a cover of just beauty just a uh, face and and probably jewelry for the face just bring up beauty we're doing hair and beauty so different themes different so that um walks me through when i'm working or thinking through editorial if it's personal styling like I have um, personal clients, I need to know your actually your social circle, your associate. What do you do, and what type of events do you attend? What sort of person are you? Are you a very outgoing person? Are you like a very just chilling in the house, no going anywhere type of person? No, what's your type of job? Are you in fashion? Are you in like a place where you have to be all in suits and formal every other day? Yeah. So that determines a lot in, with that type of client. So that will give me a base on how to start to work on, on you. If it's a movie set, which, so of course that the script tells it all, because they'll give you a script Bible and they tell you this character 
he's a bad boy, you know. Immediately you think of bad boy, you'll think ripped jeans, you'll think all these things. So every other time I get different clients, immediately they tell me, I know it's an ad, it's a personal shopping, it's a portfolio, it's editorial, it's a music video. Immediately something clicks because they're all different. The same thing I'm doing for an ad I wouldn't do for a music video because music videos are usually very out there. For music video, I have to listen to your song. That's one thing I do. I'll listen to what we'll be working on. And then you tell me, listening to it, I know, oh, this has a very sexy vibe, has a very African vibe. How can we go with it? And then I'll ask you as an artist, what are you not comfortable in? And then we start from there. And then we work way through it. And what, as, a, as, a, as an artist, what you had in mind for this music video? So we build up from there until the final product comes out. I do very mature looks. I can do street style, but it's not my strongest suit, honestly. I do like really, really mature looks. So after that, I'll get to sourcing. So this is what happens in sourcing. I work with a few uh, boutiques and designers, a lot actually. A lot of boutiques, a lot of designers from jewelry boutiques to apparel designers, just African designers are all designers who make like westernized look and all this. So since I know them and I've worked with them before, immediately I get to know the look you want. I'll know who to go to first. I'll know this one will have this. This is the perfect one for this. So I go to all of them actually. So if you want one look, trust me, when we're coming for fitting, I'll come with up to 10 looks in the same line because usually you just come with one it might look good it might not sometimes yes i got the the measurements right but i was like this is stretchy this could fit then you come it's not fitting probably it's last minute it's it's not a good show yeah so i get variety of outfits after that from sourcing from these stores and boutiques and everything and then after that i go back to the client we fit and then decide on what works perfectly get to the shoes when we have the full apparel now we'll get to the shoes accessorizing and then from that i'll also advise on the type of makeup to do for this second look uh, i was going for like a very smart elegant casual look this is the type of look you can wear to a brunch, uh, a wedding, like it's not a very formal event like a red carpet thing. It's a casual feel but you just decide to like dr take it up a notch a little. So this is a very gorgeous um, dress from Adore. It's actually, you can also wear it as a skirt so it depends on how you feel. So you can do this uh, for a wedding, for a dinner, a night out if you have something you're doing after work. You can also do it as a skirt to go to work and then change it later for like cocktails. And I like looks that are very functional because I can wear it for something else and then change it up to something else. So that also helps when you're coming up with like your entire wardrobe. You don't, it prevents clutter in your wardrobe because you have a lot of functionable outfits. So with this, since it's all over the place with the ruffles going on, very bold, very gorgeous, and that's one thing I love, bold, every other time. And usually my mantra is flaunt your curves, always. Shows the figure nicely, still covers up. It's strapless because I decided to wear it as a dress. Just do bedazzle it a little to be a little bit extra as always. And then since it's black, it gives you a uh, like plain canvas to work with a lot of colors. So I decided to go with the red shoes with the acrylic side and gold because of the piece. My biggest success is working for Couture Africa magazine. I feel like that was just like, um, you know, it just bounced me up to, to a whole other level because I, I, I like to think if I didn't get into it as an intern, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't have done a lot as I've done in such a short period of time. So that was the best base I could ever ask for. And from that, I've had the best experiences. <laughs> from that, the best, best, best experiences. I've done a movie, which was the most overwhelming thing I did. It's not out, it's coming out this year, so I won't talk, but already it has been nominated for an award in Zanzibar for its uh, Zanzibar Film International Film Festival. Yeah, so the, and it's not even out, so you can imagine the excitement keeps just growing every other time. And that 
I can say that was like it also was a very huge part like highlight of my career and then I after that I did I've done a lot of other I've worked with a lot of celebrities so every other day I get to do something and then you think like Jana was the best day of your life then you get to do this and you're like no Ruth today is the best day of your life and then tomorrow again you're like like today is the best day actually yeah true up to now like comfortably today is the best day of my life I'm, I'm, I'm seated here The challenges I get on set mostly are sometimes people don't talk. Like I'm a very open person, so if I don't like something, I'll tell you. But I don't know how to handle people who don't say when they don't like things. And I feel in my line of job, that does not go well. Because it's, it's a job mostly where you get jobs through word of mouth, a lot of referrals. Because uh, someone will just see a picture and be like, okay, it's edited probably so it looks all nice i'm not sure but if i walk up to you and tell you i'm dressed like this and like you look gorgeous who did this and you're like ruth of them boy see so easy give me her number let me talk to her so at first it was quite 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 very hard for that breakthrough if someone is not saying anything i if you don't like something just tell me and then we see on how to change it it's good to be nice but if it it will cost you your money, your time and everything, it's actually good to be a little bit bad. Not in a bad way though, just to know what you want and to make also the person you're working with the work easier. Rather than working and then walking away, pretending to be happy and going and being like, you're unhappy somewhere else or you're telling someone else you're unhappy, which is not a good thing. It goes a long way. So that usually is a problem some people do talk which i like so much some people do not because not every other time things will come out perfectly that things will just seem be like whoa yes it's, it's amazing and then sometimes even for me address someone and be like okay we could even have gone through a shoot like mid shoot and then i'm like you know what no let's redo the entire look <laughs> look is um, an event look something glam for an event red carpet uh, a very official and fancy event it's just a sheer throw on which is still sexy because you know there's a lot to see as you can see there's still spaces but yet it's also very covering so it's a piece by Naomi style by Naomi uh, black and gold with sequin details so if it's an event you know the lights are all dim and the sequins are like all shimmering and shining so you steal the attention at this event without even trying so it's something you can throw on on top of a very plain outfit like just a plain little black dress throw this on top and that's it zero to a hundred the back is also very nice uh, it has um, this V detail so you need to like have your hair up high for you to show everything that's going on the best part about it is you don't need a lot of accessories because it's high neck as you can see top high neck and then we need to see the back view also so you can't have dangling earrings with this I cannot have anything to steal the attention away from all this gorgeousness and then just have plain heels gold heels and you are good to go it's one like of my favorite easiest to put together looks and works for any event you want yeah so you can also dress it up or dress it down you can put a belt on it and dress it down very casually you can have it like this and be all you know you go girl the biggest problem with women is we do not dress our sizes we do not dress our body shapes you don't have to change it you know it depends we are all, we're all beautiful at the end of the day you don't have to change it if you're skinny you're thick you know we all have something to offer don't change it and don't try and force something that your normal size person couldn't or cannot wear and force it into yourself it's noticeable actually very much noticeable i don't know if other people notice but for me straight up immediately i see you that's the first thing i'll get I'll be like, okay, they're nice jeans, but they're not fitting.
my main goal actually is start um, a styling school for because right now I have interns which I work with people who are interested in styling like but then like me of course where I started they don't know what to do which I do help them but then um, if I could get a space where I could do like because that means I work with them on different days if today I'm having this intern tomorrow I'll have that but if I could have a platform where I just we do it at once yeah I think that would be my happiest moment the greatest thing I think I would have achieved that's basically the goal that's what I want to do up and coming stylist do not stop and there's one thing I there's something I usually tell myself every other day there's only one way to find out that's it immediately if I'm in doubt and I, I speak those words that's it I'll do it there's only one way to find out and that means do it if you don't do it you'll never find out whether it fails or not so there's only one way to find out and do it then find out if it goes bad make it right if it goes right keep it right and keep making it right yeah so do not stop it is not easy that's for sure but if you if it's passion really and you love it and you really want to do it you'll find ways and you'll do it so if you are looking for my services if you'd want to be styled and probably just even just a few tips on fashion and how to pair a few pieces together in colors you can find me on instagram at truth or dambo styles always and also my personal page at truth or dambo i'll respond to that too you can also check some of my work on couture africa magazine's page i'm their current stylist so everything that has been happening since last year april on couture i've been the one working on it yeah and you can always reach me through the uh, social media pages and DM me and I'll always get back.